Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths, building a complete ship, start to finish. Now, uh, we had a little bit of an intermission to um, put uh, little plasma guns on this thing because uh, we just had to, considering plasma was recently added to the game. Uh, but what we were doing before that was getting uh, all our defenses in, all our active defenses to, well, actively defend. And last time we put interceptors on this thing, so we're talking uh, missile interceptors on the turrets and torpedo interceptors. Where, where are they? Torpedo interceptors somewhere. Did we put to Wait, we did, right? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, we did. Um, and I said that we weren't going to bother with block decoys. So what I mean by that is the... Oh, no, no, no. Where is it? These things. And afterwards I felt bad about that, I thought like, you know what, it is actually kind of helpful to cover these, so we are going to have them. Hooray, we are going to use them because they're uh, actually pretty useful if you use them right. So, uh, missile decoys are things like, well, uh, what we've added previously. It's missiles that just have uh, target simulators on them, and they distract missiles, and that's very nice. Uh, these block uh, decoys... Uh, they're not quite the same thing. They work kind of similarly, so the heat decoy, the radar decoy, and the sonar decoy, uh, you stick them uh, somewhere on your craft, and um, depending on like uh, how strong you make them, uh, they can uh, pull uh, enemy missiles towards them. So basically you can pull enemy uh, missiles towards the parts of your craft uh, that um, you don't particularly mind them blowing up. So, And also there's signal jammers for here, and what this does is it interferes with enemy wireless connections between vehicles and between vehicles and wireless remote guided missiles and sensor buoys. So this is your primary defense against remote guided missiles and uh, lure guided missiles as it happens because that's a thing. So if you hop over to the missiles here you can see, where is it, over here in fuel and control. Remote guidance missiles uh, use general purpose processing power and it follows the aim point of the main front control and the missile's launch pad. Now, these require a lot of general purpose processing power, uh, which uh, is these little uh, cards right here. Um, so they're expensive, but also, if you don't have um, decent active defenses, uh, remote guided missiles can be very, very dangerous, uh, because you can swap uh, the head of them out for either a thumper head or a heat uh, head. So if this, uh, these missiles weren't radar guided, or, what the? Oh, these are torpedoes. They could have a thumper head or a shape charge head, and those are really devastating. So it's helpful to have something to take care of remote gathered stuff. So we're going to just, uh, in bits and pieces, add stuff. Hopefully we have enough power and room in here uh, for all this stuff. We should be able to make magic happen. Let's see, do we have enough room in the AI compartment uh, to smuggle some ACBs in? It looks like we can. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Alright, so to start off with, we are going to uh, squish somewhere in here a... Uh, we are going to stick in an ECM jammer. So, we don't have infinite power, but uh, let's go here, and we're just going to do that, and... It's currently set to 1,000. These can get extremely uh, strong, but we're just going to leave it at a nice, modest 1,000 uh, because that still has a, um, like a, you know, a roughly averages out to 30% chance of jamming uh, an incoming missile, which is, you know, it's decent. And we're just going to plonk some ACBs around here. We might have to shift these around a little bit. Uh, let's see here, I believe I have a prefab for that, and on second thoughts I will not use a prefab for that. We're gonna do it the hard way, so you can control these with ACBs. We're gonna go enemy, it's gonna go enemy, no, 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 no. missiles, torpedoes. If there's missiles or torpedoes within 3,000 meters, it will change. The ECM the signal jammers just set it to 1,000. And we're going to control V, and if there's no none of that, it'll set it to zero. Jolly, jolly good. All right, so now that's fairly straightforward and easy. Now, should actually, I'm just going to color code these. 
so we uh, know what we're doing. So I'm gonna go over here, and we're gonna go for the chaff emitter next. So that right there, that is, um, let's see here. Total error added to active radar detection. We're gonna set this to 10. All right, so that is um, gonna be quite helpful for us uh, to screw with enemy missiles a little bit. 10 materials per second is quite a lot, but also, uh, considering how resource hungry this big scary ship is gonna be, I don't actually know if it's that big or scary, uh, that doesn't it doesn't really change that much. So we're gonna go here. This missiles with torpedoes within three thousand meters. It was going to set chaff emitters to ten, and we're gonna do that and invert that, and we're going to set that to zero. All right. So just that easy. We've got ECM and chaff set up. Hopefully that doesn't break the bank too much. And what do we got here? Do we have a little bit extra? What is what is like ECM? All right. So now the heat decoys, the radar decoys, and the sonar decoys. So we need to one, two. Let's see. One, two, three, four. So we can do. Yeah, we can do that. So I'm going to go find a good place to stick these because. Getting a little bit strapped for room in our AI compartment. I'm just going to stick them right here. Right, so these are pretty much the same. Do, 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 do. Alright, so here, missile torpedoes within 3,000 meters. We're going to set... Where's it, where's it, where's it? Heat decoys to 1,000. And inverted... We're going to set them to zero. And we're going to go here. And we're going to set. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Radar decoys to 1000. And invert that. And set that to zero. And same thing for the sonar decoys. Actually, hold on. This should be missiles. If there's missiles within there because you don't get radar guided stuff uh, below the water uh, you can get IR guided torpedoes but meh, they tend not to be that good so we're not going to worry about that so just missiles and just missiles and missiles within okay so we've got heat radar there's torpedoes within 3000 meters we're going to set sonar decoys to 1000 and then we're going to invert that. You don't have to set it to these values. Depending um, how big your craft is, uh, you can get away with much smaller values than this. Uh, we have a lot of engine power, and um, once we uh, redo the engines and like in this thing, because we are going to do that, another reminder, um, we are going to do that, uh, we will hopefully have even more power. So if there's no torpedoes... Set that to 1,000. And now we actually need the decoys them... Uh, excuse me. We actually need the decoys themselves. So, uh, to start off with, let's start with a sonar decoy. And thankfully, uh, sonar decoys are kind of easy to make. I'm going to just go over here. And I'm going to uh, just slightly offset this. And I'm just going to make a little rubber thing. Because why not? Like so. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, these are just going to be... These defenses are a little bit expensive, but also... Uh, missiles are so... Like, really... De are, you know, missiles are expensive as well, so... Uh, we can kind of get away with this. Uh, you know what? I want to make this a little bit more pretty full. Let's do that, shall we? You don't have to make these out of rubber, by the way. Uh, I just like doing that. I mean, that's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it will do. So this is offset, by the way, so it doesn't interfere with the uh, passive sonars I have over there. Now we can do... This, just over here. Target for current use. 
Interesting, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I set that up correctly? Because that's using 10 power currently and should be using zero. We go all the way over here. Why did I do this all the way over here? Uh, if there are no torpedoes, test. And it back over here. I'll use that to zero. Oh no, it has a minimum. Jeez, man. Come on. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is why you test as you go. It's to just see quickly, quickly. If you are actually setting things up right. Set sonar decoys. Are you actually controlling anything? Okay, you're controlling one block, so nope, you're good. You're good, you're good, you're good. So I'm gonna turn everything off. And I'm just gonna see. And um, hold on, let's just save this, and I'm actually gonna disable uh, the sonar decoys wherever they are. And I believe that uh, these torpedo interceptors are controlled by a SeaWiz controller rather than an ACB. Or are they? Okay, they are. So, which uh, w means that um, when we turn that off. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. There we go, that's better. Um, it means that uh, all we need to do is temporarily turn this off just to see if this works. Let's go over here. Alright, now let's just spawn something that has torpedoes. What has torpedoes? Let's go over here. Just going to chuck in a... Uh, I believe the Typhoon has torpedoes. How you? Where the hell did it go? All right, there it is. <laughs> wait for it. Wait for it. Um, does the typhoon have? Yes, it does. All right. All righty, 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 righty. Roo. Uh, hello. Interesting. Okay, that's not working for some reason. I don't know why that isn't. Okay, hello. Right, this is why we test as we go. This is already not as quick as I thought it was going to be. Oh dear. If there are no torpedoes within 3,000 meters. If there are torpedoes within 3,000 meters. Alright, no, this is set up correctly. I'm... Not entirely sure why it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Interesting. So it's just not detecting. Alright. Alright, so sonar deco is. Uh... Oh, it's because it's too far away! Righty ho then. So, handy thing about ACBs is that they do have a limited range, so I'm going to have to shift this. All right, I'm going to have to shift these uh, over way over here. All right, that's good to know. Do, 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 do. Interesting, interesting. That's interesting. That's a rather interesting uh, quirk in from the depths, as it turns out. So we're just going to put this, well, I guess over here. And we are going to have to remember to... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to have to remember to do that. And... I'm just going to... Just going to stick this over here. So now, this should be... Okay... Alright, I have to remember to put those flares back, so... Uh, da, 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 typhoon. Let's see what happens. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. So there's that thing going. I believe that... Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. I should have spawned the typhoon closer. What, like, why am, what am I doing spawning them uh, here over at, like, something something meters? Deacon's Christmas. I really did. Uh, hello? What? Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Alright, this is interesting. This might be a bug. It appears to not be working. Set consumption. Oh! Hello! We can just do that? Interesting! That is not working. Why is that not working? Fascinating! These appear to be bugged. Like, completely bugged. Because that should work. Interesting, interesting. Alright, alrighty, righty, righty. Queer and disturbing, that is. Well, I'm just gonna go put this back. Uh, so yeah, don't be too put off by this, uh, because I do believe uh, that this is a bug. Um, actually, let's see if it's an ACB thing in general, because... Unfortunately, sometimes this is, um, hang on, let's do that. Uh, sometimes this is just something uh, that happens in From the Depths, is that you run into, well, a bug, pretty much. Alright, our torpedo's actually coming in. Oh, hello. Hello. Torpedoes are, just, like, ACBs apparently are just not working. Fascinating. What the hell, man? Alright, let's see if this works. Let's just do this quickly. Interesting, interesting. Wait a minute. There isn't something silly like, um, if the AI is off, then so are the ACBs, because that's not okay. Also, these things are working. Okay, now those are working. Okay, now it's working. Ah, yes, there we go. There we go. There we go, indeed. Okay, so, it works now. I don't know what that was. And, um, I'm tempted to edit that out, but I think it's actually kind of important for people to realize that sometimes the game is bugged and it's not your fault, so don't feel bad. Okay, so that was the sonar decoy. We've managed that. And now it's time for a heat and radar decoy. And, uh, this is just, I don't know, like, this is just a temporary little thing. This isn't the best use of it. Actually, I should move this over just a little bit uh, to the somewhere else. Just one step to the left. Jurassic Park is in my head. I don't know why. Okay, so do not block the passive sonar. That's bad. Okay. So, not there. There. Does that work? Yes, it does. Is this blocked? Right, so arguably this is a little bit of overkill to have a, a uh, sonar decoy back here and a uh, extra sonar decoys in the front there, but you know what? Totally cool with it. Alright, so that's that. We're satisfied that works. And now, hopefully, the... Uh, let's see here. Let's just measure in our brain. In our squishy brain. So, okay, so that should work. Right, so for the radar and sonar decoys, I'm going to do something a little bit cheeky. So hopefully this works. I'm going to add something to the superstructure. I know, shock, horror. I'm going to add a fake radar uh, antenna. Uh, which hopefully should be... Look, fan dozy Is this blocked? No, it isn't. Thank goodness. And we're going to go like... 
like so, and we're gonna go like so, and we're also gonna go like so, and we're going to do this, and we're gonna have a wee spin block. So, you don't have to do this with, um, uh, with uh, just uh, decoys, but it is kind of fun to do. Uh, I'm going to have a fake radar here. Uh, let's do trust blocks because that's fun. So let's do that. Let's do that. This is once again just a stopgap thing, strategic antenna. And I don't know, let's just. Um, not a real radar, cannot emphasize that enough. And you know what? You know what? Yeah, yeah nah, nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No one panic. Okay, so let's do. Nope, I'm panicking. I am panicking so hard. Do, 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 do. Mm. Nah, nah, that's fine. That's fine. I, the whole point is that I don't care if this gets blown up. If it pulls an entire volley towards it, it'll be all good in the neighborhood. All right, let's go. Where are we going? Where are we going? What are we doing? What am I doing with my life? Okay, let's go here. Let's just have a little bit of a plea, okay? Just for giggles. I don't usually do this, uh, by the way, so it's a learning experience for everyone. All right, so now we're here, and we're going to stick... Uh, we've got the travel meter, so heat decoy is going to be over here, and we're going to have a radar decoy over here. And, uh, hopefully that can actually work. And I'm just going to set this... I'm going to just set this rolling, so we're going to be continuous. And we're going to be setting a spin right control. that and as well as looking cool that should hopefully uh, play merry hell with incoming missiles so let's try that and let us just turn temporarily turn these off so let's go down here we're just gonna have to remember that these are here and we're going to spawn in something that has way too many missiles. So what is something that does that? Let's do Palisade. is always fun to test against. And it's going pink, pink, pink. All right, let's see. That is not working. Do I have to do the thing again, moving ACBs up? Because 51 meters, as it turns out, is not particularly far. Nope. Nope, it's not working. I have to do the thing again. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, alright. Actually, this I can do the thing. So I'm just going to do this. Alright, Rambot, you have some extra ACBs up here to keep you company. And let's do... If there are missiles within blah blah blah, we will set our decoys. 1000. Effect range is going to be. Yeah. Ah! And inverted, and this power equals to 1000. So you are controlling what barrel? You are controlling too. I'm actually learning things during this, um, during this uh, video, which is very, very nice. Alright, let's go here. Let's chuck our friend the Palisade in again. I don't know if that's a good looking radar. Probably isn't. Alright, let's see here. Are you doing what I want you to? You are not doing what I want you to. What the hell, man? Alright, so... Range is still a little low. Okay. Alright. I see you. Why are you not doing? Why does this happen? If I do, if I do, how about now? Or are you going to do that thing where I need to load you in and out of the game 
in order to get you to do what I want you to do. Oh dear. I happen to know that those missiles, um, they can be detected from a very long way away, so this is unacceptable. Unacceptable! Alright, let's try that one more time. Alright, ACP. There we go. Right now, let's see. And one of the great things about... Whee! <laughs> it mostly missed. And now we're just going to set this air spinning a little bit faster. So the downside with this is that uh, it does hit the middle, but also, I don't particularly mind. Whee! These are radar guided missiles, and if they all go straight for this thing, I don't particularly mind. Whee! Damn it. What really works well, by the way, is having these uh, at an angle, so that... Um, what? Let's make this a little longer. Is this gonna look terrible? Eh, nah, it looks alright. It looks okay. Okay, we're gonna have to do this quickly so we don't all get sick. The applique is mostly here for decoration, basically. Ugh. <laughs> Feeling a little bit burfy. Alright, let's try that. Let's see, because uh, if you do this right, you can set missiles. Um, actually, hold on, does this look different? <gasps> it does! Holy bananas. Wow, look at that, pulling double duty. Um, don't worry too much about this. Like, this isn't strictly necessary on every ship. But yeah, we can do that. We can do that just fine. Alright, let's save the game. What the hell are you doing down there? Does the Palisade have torpedoes? I never quite remember. Whoops. Hold on. Let's see here. Oh dear. Nope. Nope, it's working. It's working. We're also getting these missiles to waste their fuel uh, by cruising around. Yay! Alright. <laughs> also bear in mind that this works even better against something that's moving. Yes! Beautiful. This right here. This is screenshot worthy. Look at that. Look at that. Woof! Whee! <laughs> so this is the power of missile decoys. Uh, block decoys, rather, because uh, bearing in mind, um, these are, they're expensive per block. Um, they're not cheap, but also, uh, when you can uh, distract an entire swarm of missiles like that, it is, they can be very much worth their cost, and if they get the, uh, you can get them to waste their opening volley, it's even better. So, let's just delete that. I'm not a fan of how this looks. Uh, I am not a fan anymore. So, I'm just going to do this. Have this mask be a little bit better, so... I'd like to point out, I don't often do masks uh, like this. I'm just doing it this way because I'm too lazy to go on the spin block again. Alright, so that's all very, very nice. Are we using any power? No, we're not. I mean, that almost looks like a regular ship, except that's very long. We. In case you're wondering what this actually is, this doesn't need to be here. In fact, it probably shouldn't be. Uh, this, uh, in the campaign itself, this uh, reveals the fog of war uh, on the map. Currently, there's no fog of war because we're in the designer, just for in case anyone's wondering. So that just about does it. I need to go... Uh, where is it? I need to go put the uh, little ACB back where it's supposed to be. So yeah, power of missile block decoys, uh, except when the game isn't bugging out. That was really weird. Ah, oh, damn it. There's missiles within blah blah blah, fire weapons, thank you. There we go, and test. 
that did not work because hatches. All right, jolly, 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 jolly good. We are, um, we're winning. Are you winning, son? Yes, we are, Dad. Okay, that'll just about do it. Damn it. This was longer than I thought it was going to be. There was unexpected difficulties, but we have overcome. Uh, such as FTD. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps, and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.